Yikes. There's a swarm gathering in that tree. Okay, guys, I'll leave you be. That's kind of the 10th or 11th swarm that we've had here on the farm this year. 10th or 11th, I've lost count. And these are only the swarms that I've seen. I don't, oh, there it is. There's the swarm, I see it right there. It's a big one. Gathering steam to go somewhere else. Well, I better leave them be. So here are the bees. They've settled in their swarm. I don't know if you can see there. Might put the bee suit on and collect that swarm. It's low enough that I could collect it and put it in one of my empty hives. I don't want to get too much closer because my breathing of my carbon dioxide out, the bees might decide they don't like me. Oh, you can hear the dogs. I locked them in the house. They're howling. Because I came out without them to get close to the bees. They're a nice little tight swarm. Perfect for putting in a box and putting in a hive. I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go change. Okay. I'm suited up so that I can get really close up to this swarm. It's on quite a substantial branch. So I can't trim the branch. What I'm gonna have to do is get a box and put a box down here and thump the branch and hope all the swarm falls into the box. It's gonna have to be a quick action. It's not as big a swarm as I am. It is a June swarm, which are usually smaller than May swarms. So, okay, a box and a lid for a box. Now here are my hives. I've opened the gate because I realized I need to inspect to see if I have any empty hives before I catch a swarm. Here you can see this hive is active. Very active with very black bees. And then here, this hive is active. This hive is active. And this hive is active. So I have no hive to put those bees in. One, two, three, four, five hives. All active. I need to get more hives. This is set up to put so I can put more hives in. I guess now is the time to get more hives. Except I've missed a swarm, so I might have to invest in hives for talk to a beekeeper, another local bee beekeeper. Anyway, that's uh, my hives. And close the gate. Oh dear. There. Rather primitive uh, gate apparatus I have here because this is freestanding for when the scientists were here. I had to create a um, place where the bees, the sheep, would not rub up against the bees. So this is um, worked really well. And we are full of bees. I thought I had one empty hive, but obviously I didn't. It's wonderful how much um, blue speedwell there is in here. So it's very busy bees. Fantastic. Great, great news. Except now I'm going to have to go and let the 
swarmga because uh, the hives cost money and so I'll have to wait and invest, get more hives, fill that area out with hives. Just so you know, this is what I look like in my bee suit. See, my bee suit. I have to wear a peaked cap to keep this thing away from my face or my face will go like that and then I'll get stung by bees. Anyway, so this is me beekeeping. I'm a very pedestrian, lazy beekeeper in that um, I like my bees to do their own thing. I take very little honey off of them so I don't have to feed them in the winter or anything like that. So uh, my two assistants who escaped out of the house, I, they were all locked in and they jumped through a window. Shame on them. And they met me up here. Luckily, they're staying on the quad and not, didn't follow me over to the bee area, which is over there. Anyway, now I've got to go and release the bees, the swarm of bees I caught. Okay, I didn't think to go and look at my beehives. And my beehives are all full. The one that I thought was empty is no longer empty. So those, that's where they were. The queen is now in this box. So I can release the bees again, which is kind of a strange thing to do. So they were up there and I knocked them in the box and they're in there. So I might just let them go again because I don't have an empty hive and I found a local beekeeper and he's full of hives. So I think I'm gonna release them. Okay. You can hear the box humming. There. Okay, I'm gonna let them go. There's no point in me giving them a hive when I don't have a hive. So I caught them. Never mind. It's so annoying. Look at that beautiful swarm of bees and all my hives are full and I caught them so well. The queen is in this section. So she's somewhere in there. Okay, I'll have to let them go. Never mind. See you later bees, produce lots of honey and pollinate lots of plants and vegetables. Goodbye for now. Well, they haven't moved anywhere. They've all just climbed on top of the queen. So she's in the lid of the box. Maybe I'll climb, I'll, maybe I'll put it up on the tree. You have no idea how heavy this is. Okay, this is the bee. So the queen is here in this box. Let's see. I can put them up in this tree over here. Off the ground so it'll be easier for her. She can climb up the tree and all her workers will follow her. There we go. Whoop, don't fall. I'm disturbing them. I'm getting pissed off now. Okay, there. I've done that. I'm backing off. And they'll climb up the tree. The ponies won't mind. The bees won't bother the ponies. Hopefully she'll climb up. Hopefully that lid won't fall off. Oh, they're already climbing out of the box. Look, excellent, onto the tree. Okay, I'm gonna leave. They're not pleased that I'm here, but they're already doing what I wanted them to do is climb up. She's climbing up the side of the tree and the bees are all following her. Look at that. So amazing. 
the community that is bees. So the queen must be up there. Okay, dogs, come on. You're gonna get stung. Come on, pups. Come on, let's get away. Good dogs. Come on. These bees that are left know that their queen is gone and will follow where I walked. So in a little while, there won't be any bees here. Oh, a few of those are ones I squished. Worker bees that I squished. Like that one right there. I squished it by mistake. But, no, oh, and I squished you. There's other ones that aren't squished. And they will, they're looking here where the queen was, but they will go up over there. That tree there is where I put the box lid. So they, the wind will carry her smells and all these bees will leave here very soon and go up to the queen bee that is climbing up into that apple tree there, which the ponies are grazing behind. Mm -hmm. 